I was living in Jobek in Hillbro. I came to Cape Town after my mother died. The first night I got here, they robbed me. First night. They took all of my things. My money, my ID, everything, even my nice shoes. So, I had nowhere to go. No friends. So I went to the park and I found a place to sleep under some bushes. It's hard, you know. I haven't eaten for six days. There in the bush, there's a white man who sleeps there. But he allows me to sleep there also. This white man, he smells, you know. So, this one night, the police come and they find me sleeping and they keep me, they keep me here and here in my stomach. And they ask me what I'm doing here. But the white man, the white man, they don't beat him. They just leave him alone. So I, I got myself a pipe to protect myself. So the police won't beat me. And next time, next time, Next time I am prepared. Yes, yesterday I, I see this white girl. She's she's going for a walk in the bush she's alone so I, I follow her with with the pipe and she she uh, I walk softly so she can't hear me but she walks faster so she knows I'm following her and then she runs and I run after her and then, and then, and then she, she takes off her shoes and runs but I am faster and I am angry I just see her long hair moving as she struggles to run up the mountain I am not thinking at that moment my body is just moving and then when I go to her she turns around and enough to draw blood and I, and I have my pipe so I told myself I'm going to be there and then I'm not a criminal. I'm not a rapist. I'm desperate. I'm desperate. They told me things would be better, but they are not. They took everything. I have no family, no money, no food. And the police come here and they find me hiding and they beat me. And the white man, the white man, he just watches. He just watches. The white can begs me to leave. 